Try to see it my way Do I have to keep on talking till I can go on? While you see it your way Run the risk of knowing that our love may soon be gone well, I wish that I could say what's on my mind I laid there. I'd had about two hours sleep and I laid there this morning and tried to go back to sleep. But I just started crying. And I've had a lot of responses to my live journal post about my current state of depression and I don't know how to really respond to it. You know, I understand people's comments and I understand uh, where they're coming from that, you know, Newt shouldn't make me feel this way. And it's not that I'm wrapping all my happiness up in Newt, okay? It is that in that I'm prone to depression, that because of my life and uh, the fact that I was beaten down for 30 years, essentially, beaten up, beaten down. It takes a lot of, of uh, strength of mind and a lot of uh, coping skills really strong coping skills to uh, to deal with it and sometimes one of my coping skills is to think of someone in my life who brings me joy and that person is a reliable haiku moment that I can turn to and and knew it was that and and I'm suffering the loss of that in that on those moments during the day when I am just too weary from everything else to go on I don't have that joy to cling to and so I have to find other moments of joy. And so far I haven't been successful in finding any. I'm continually finding other things, you know, finding things that suck, essentially. For instance, this morning, I find myself playing a lot of City of Heroes. And it's not that, it's not that it brings me happiness either. It's really a mental distraction. It, instead of being depressed, I'm distracted from my depression by playing a game. So I go in, and the gaming world, especially, is filled with spoiled, rotten brats. Kids who have too much time and are indulged entirely too much. And it's very irritating, and it depresses me, because certain things that were prevalent when I was a kid are not true today. I watch Lonely Girl 15 who comes under attack a lot because she's a good girl and she has religious beliefs. And it's really quite interesting to me that the people who have a problem with religion 
are people who are not comfortable with their own belief system. So they attack other people's belief systems. They preach tolerance and think they're all liberal and, and uh, understanding. And, but the moment that you show that your thought might be different than theirs, they either make fun of it or ridicule it or attack it. Kids today think it's cool, think, think it's wonderful to be cruel. So I'm in City of Heroes and there's PvP, you know, player versus player. And I don't like player versus player. I don't care if somebody else likes it, but I don't. And yet kids will think there's a problem with me because I don't like PvP. I had some kid this morning say, well, you're just not cut out for PvP, are you? And I said, actually, no, I'm not. I mean, he acted as though this was some type of, uh, that this would be some type of big thing to me, that I didn't, that I wasn't good enough in some way because I didn't like to player versus player. I don't like to kill people, uh, real people, whether they're on the screen as pixelated or not. I don't like attacking other people. Then another thing that is real prevalent in, in just online existence is that you will wake up as a human being in the morning and you will uh, have an agenda, have a list of things to do, have a to-do list. Other people will come along and because of their own selfishness will try to usurp your agenda. Theirs is much more important than yours. What they want to do is more important than the list of things that you woke up for your own existence and your own life, you know, that you want to do. And they think you're selfish when you say, well, no, I don't really want to do that because I have other things that I've already planned out for my day. I went into uh, Recluse's Victory which is a PvP area, but I didn't want to PvP, but there's other things to do there. And a couple of those things that you can do there, uh, you can get badges for. And my character, my main character, who's level 50, uh, is my badge whore, essentially. She, you know, she collects badges. There's not much in-game content to the game, and so, you know, you kind of make content. And so my agenda for myself, for my character, when I went in the game today, was to uh, get these badges. There's two of them that I haven't gotten in uh, Recluse's Victory, and one is to take over pillboxes. And this guy who is on my global, I've known him since the beginning, uh, since the beginning of the game, since the beginning of my playing that game. asked me to team with him and I team with him and I go through and I kill these four turrets. There's these gun turrets around the pillboxes. And I kill these four gun turrets and I'm going to jump on the center of the pillbox and capture it in order to get the credit for the badge. All I want is the badge. And he's in my team and he jumps on the turret after I've gone through all the trouble of killing the turrets. He jumps on the middle and captures the pillbox. And I said, you ass. You know? I was, you know, my only reason for even being in this stupid zone is to take that pillbox. And you just took it. Thank you. Butt wipe. You know? So I quit team and I go out of the zone because obviously, you know, I'm not going to have my agenda for, for that zone fulfilled that day. He messages me with something, you know, and I said, Jesus Christ, man, I come into 
the zone and the first thing he asks me is to log on as my villain so he can kill me so he can get a badge which was his agenda to come in and kill other people so he can get a badge for killing other people so he wants me to come and just let him kill me kill me kill me and I said I don't even come into this PvP zone with my main character because I'm 90% of the time because I'm a mind control person character people want to kill me immediately and I spend all my time in the game oh what fun dead this is not my idea of a good time to you know be sitting there dr sipping coffee and looking at my little dead cartoon laying on the ground so that's why I don't go there and now you're asking me to come in the game as my villain and let you kill me over and over oh yeah do you not understand what I'm saying? And this is the kind of thing you encounter all the time. And they think, you're mean. You're so mean to me. Oh my God, you're so mean because you won't do what I want to do. They're like little, spoiled, rotten brats. And this is, the reason I even mention this is because it's indicative to me of the state of the youth of today. Most of the kids I see on the internet, one, are impatient, two, are rude, three, are completely and utterly selfish. So that's one thing that depresses me. And I don't see it changing around anytime soon.